This was the daunting scene from Adalia, Colorado on Saturday as Andrea Lothan watched twin funnels appear in the clouds over her house. Then she watched as one of them touched down to the east just across the Kansas state line. Her neighbor on the Kansas side witnessed one of them stroll right through her backyard. This one hit near Burlington. Eric MacArthur shot it with his cell phone. And Heather Burton watched this one touch down just to the south of Elizabeth. All four of those Saturday tornadoes and most of Colorado's other tornadoes this year are what's called landspout tornadoes. Generally, landspouts are pretty short-lived. National Weather Service meteorologist Russell Danielson says the spinning air is already in place at the ground before the storm even appears on top of it. They look a lot like dust devils with a mostly invisible vortex, only filled out at the bottom when they pick dirt up off the ground. They basically are dust devils that get pulled into a thunderstorm updraft, popular along boundaries of colliding air, something that happens frequently in Colorado. And we're not going to get the exact location of the land spout, but we can get the general you know, boundary and maybe down to a county or two area that has the best chance uh, for land spout tornadoes. They are stealthy because they can occur on a day where no severe weather is forecast and they can happen in a thunderstorm that does not carry a warning. To top it off, they are often not even seen on radar. A lot of these land spouts happen so far close to the surface, the radar can't see them. The radar shooting higher up in the storm. Many times the first indication that there's a land spout tornado occurring is when an eyewitness makes a report. And since they only last less than 10 minutes on average, it can be too late to issue a warning after the report. They can still be dangerous while they are generally weak. They're generally EF0 or EF1 tornadoes with winds anywhere from 65 miles an hour to about 110. Uh, land spout tornadoes can be as strong as an EF3, which is about 150 mile an hour winds. You know, we want people to take them seriously, but know that most of the time they are relatively weak. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News.